Hey everybody, this is Franco. Lately I've had a lot of questions about the design for the CNC conversion kit for the Precision Matthews PM25MV machine. I've put this design online. It's available to anybody that wants it. And I hope that people use these, you know, this solid model and these, these drawings to uh, do their conversion kits. Or at the very least, I hope it helps with portions of your conversion kit. Maybe maybe you have better ideas on, on how to do certain aspects of it. At any rate, i got to get this information out there. So the first thing I want to talk about are ball screws, bearings, and uh, helical couplings, or diaphragm style couplings. So long story short, this design uses 12 millimeter ball screws for X and Y. It uses a 16 millimeter ball screw for Z. The reason why I went with 12 millimeter ball screws for X and Y is they're smaller and the ball nuts can be fit in the saddle without having to make any modifications to the machine. And these 12 millimeter ball screws have worked out really well for me. I have no complaints. The design also uses these FK style bearing supports. So rather than machining the aluminum end blocks to carry the bearings, I designed it to, to mount these cartridges. Uh, I believe that's better, and uh, once again, so far, it's been working out really well for me. The solid model doesn't show it, but I doubled up the ball nuts for X and Y, and all I did was is I used shims to um, put the proper amount of spacing between the two ball nuts to, to give it preload. There's a lot of different ways you could do that. The shims worked for me, but... Perhaps, you know, you'll have a, a different method that works better for you. The Z-axis is a 16 millimeter ball screw, so uh, heavier because the Z-axis is carrying more weight. Uses a double ball nut and, once again, uses a cartridge type um, bearing end support. So, in the the description of this video you'll find some hyperlinks. One hyperlink will be to uh, download this Fusion 360 file. Another hyperlink is going to take you to a Dropbox location where you're going to see a bunch of files. This is where I'm going to put all the, the PDFs for the drawings um, eventually as I, as I work through all the parts. You're also going to find a, a file in here that I'm calling a bomb. Eventually I'll populate this with all the different bits and pieces. But right now, uh, you'll see the ball screws on here, and you'll see an email address. This is the person that I always buy ball screws from. He's an eBay seller, but uh, if you buy them directly from him, he'll give you a better price. Um, they're, they're from China, obviously, but I've never had any troubles dealing with this guy. His name is Chai, and if you send him these drawings and tell him how you found them, uh, he'll he'll send you a, an email with a price, and if you accept it, he'll send you a PayPal invoice. And generally, he delivers these things pretty quickly, um, you know, and sometimes in less than two weeks. The drawings are right here. And like I said, X and Y uses two single ball nuts. That's the X. That is Y. And this is Z. Z is different. It uses a 16 millimeter ball screw with a um, what's called a double nut. And once again, you'll find the, the sources that I located here for all of these things. So next thing are the end supports. The they're uh, FK ten, FK style. You'll need it. You'll need two FK tens for X and Y and one FK twelve for Z. And uh, I found the seller DM Motion. You can get them from that seller or any other seller that you want. Just don't buy cheap ones. Try to buy good ones. Also, what you may find is your the fit here is pretty close in, inside where the, the ball screw fits into the bearings. If for some reason you get your ball screw and the fit is a little tight, all you have to do is like literally... Um, I'll show you exactly what you need to do. It's really simple. Just uh, chuck up on this end of the ball screw with your cordless drill. 
and run a little emery cloth over this while you spin it, and it won't take much. You take you'll take a few tenths off, and you can size these things to fit like perfectly inside these end supports. And there's there's nothing wrong with doing that. It'll it'll be fine because like literally, if it's snug, you only need to take a little bit off, and it'll it will fit great. Let's see what else do we want to talk about here. The couplings. Talk about those. And the design uses two uh, of the. It's a 32 by 40 size coupling, and then it uses one 39 by 49 for the uh, the Z axis. And here's the deal with the couplings. These can be a source of backlash. So what I've found is this diaphragm style is the best. Uh, I believe they're the best type of uh, coupling. There's helical couplings, there's Lovejoy, Lovejoy style couplings, but I would get the uh, diaphragm style. I, I really believe they're the best. And of course, this seller, 22 New Century, has them in all kinds of different sizes. But like I said, for the x-axis, you want 32 by 40. Z-axis, you want 39 by 49. And then, um, you know, the, the IDs are going to vary depending on the, the motors that you use, but this was what worked for me. All right. I don't think there's much else to say, so I'm going to stop right there. Just want to point out this is a work in progress. Um, I reserve the right to make changes to any of these files as I see fit. I'll try to keep the latest and greatest versions here available. But, uh, you know, I hope this is helpful. And I would, uh, you know, I'd be very happy if people use these plans to work on their own CNC conversion. The, the PM25 MV is a great machine, really hard to beat it for the money. And this, as far as DIY CNC conversions, this is, this is going to work as, as good as any of them. Uh, I think you have to spend a lot more money to get a, a conversion that's a whole lot better than this. And, of course, as you know from my other videos, I, I think the Centroid CNC control is the way to go. But, you know, that's up to you. What You can use whatever you prefer. All right, well, thanks for watching this. I hope this was helpful, and have a great day.